Do you guys see it? I'm doing it. And my boobs are very much so boobing. I am about to get my period, so they are lifted, okay? I don't know what the hell's going on, but they are swollen and lifted. Um, that was a lot of information. You guys did not need to know that. That was, that was extra. That was a little too extra. Remember, you are a winner. Gold diamond pendant. The Christmas tree present. Hey, it's me. It's Ty. Oh my god. I think we're on episode five of Make Up Your Mindset. Happy New Year. If you're new here, hi. My name is Ty. I'm a content creator, YouTuber, creative strategist on YouTube. Welcome to Make Up Your Mindset, where we soul search while we slay. It is time for us to sit down and talk. In today's Make Up Your Mindset session, we are gonna talk about goals. I was on the phone with my friend and she said something that really got me all the way together. The thing that she said that got me together was, you can't focus on the outcome, you have to focus on the action. I know it was like such a simple statement, but the statement had such a big impact on me when it came to me pursuing my goals for 2023. A lot of us, when it comes to us wanting to accomplish our goals, we talk about the end result, whether it be I wanna hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, or whether it be I wanna lose 50 pounds, or whether it be I wanna move to California. The point of the matter is, those are the outcome. You have to focus on the actions. So we are going to talk about that today. Don't forget to grab something to drink. Your water, your matcha, some tequila, or some wine. My drink of choice today is definitely a matcha. Isn't it beautiful? It's matching my green vibe. You guys see the green vibe? Anyway, so don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel. I have a series going on on my TikTok called A Year of Change. Because the word of the year for me is change. So don't forget to follow me on TikTok. Keep up with me on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your post notifications on. Turn them on. As you guys can see, we switched up the filming schedule. <laughs> and if you can't see, it's because, you know, I've been really consistent on here. We drop videos twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. Now let's get into this video. We're gonna talk about goals. Okay, so let's talk about your 2023 goals. I think a lot of us, when we think about our goals, we get so excited about this big flowery picture that we don't think about each and every color that we need to put on that canvas to create such a beautiful piece of artwork. I feel like when it comes to 2023, I have some really big goals that I want to accomplish and I'm realizing that in order for these goals to become a reality, I have to focus on the actions that I take every single day because the actions are what lead to the outcomes. When it comes to setting your goals, what should you focus on first? Number one, you have to know what you want. So if I'm sitting here and saying, you know what, I want to become a full-time content creator, that is the outcome. The next step is how do we intend on going about that. What consistent action can we take every single day to see long-term results? I think a lot of us, the reason why we get discouraged with our goals isn't because our goals are too big. It's because we don't know how to break them down into bite-sized pieces so we can live them out every single day and have those small micro shifts that make a major impact. I think that's something that I struggled with a lot. As long as I can remember, I've been a very big dreamer. I've always wanted a lot out of life. Like when I was younger, my mom used to take me to Jamaica Estates in Queens and we would look at beautiful houses, just like amazing houses. And I'm like, oh, one day I'm gonna own a house like this. You know, sometimes you have to visualize it before you create a strategy for it. So I definitely think that my mom exposing me to things that were aspirational is a thing that shaped, it doesn't look like I'm putting foundation on, does it? Shout out to NARS. Anyway, so my mom, when I was growing up, she used to take me to really nice houses and like really luxury neighborhoods. Like we'd ride all through Jamaica Estates and Queens or we'd go over on Stewart Avenue in Long Island and like look at houses and we would just imagine what it'd be like to like, you know, live in that house. But we never thought about how did these people get here? What do they do for a living? What's the median income in this neighborhood? What are the requirements for owning a house like this? What are, what are the steps that I needed that need to be taken? A lot of us are taught how to dream, but we are not taught how to take that dream and make it into a reality. And I think what really helps when it comes to like making your goals a reality is after you have your goals set out, it's time for you to do some research. It's time for you to do some research. It's time for you to look into everything about that goal to make it a reality. Too many people are looking at the big goal and thinking because I want this big thing and I, I just close my eyes and wish for it enough it's gonna happen it doesn't work that way and I had to learn that the hard okay but like when it comes to like you know getting your goals together once you have that big ask or that big thing that you want the next thing is to do research about it the research needs to be needs to be based in action 
what actionable steps can I take each and every day to get me closer to this goal? A lot of people have a habit of thinking that if I watch videos that are gonna like, you know, give me the tea on what exactly I should be doing, then that should be enough for me to get there. The thing is, you have the information, you have to apply it. Do your research, but make sure when it comes to the research, the research inspires you to take action and make bigger moves so you can change your life. One of my goals right now is wanting to move to California, right? I've always wanted to move to California ever since I was eight years old. And I thought wanting it bad enough would get me there, but I'm realizing now it's so many other steps that need to happen when it comes to me wanting to move to California. First of all, how much money do I need to be saving? Um, what does my credit score need to be like? What neighborhood do I want to live in? Am I moving to California as an entrepreneur or, or am I moving to California with a job? What kind of building do I want to live in? Um, do I want to be in a space where I, where I need a car or do I want to be in a space that's more walk? These are all things that, these are all those small little bite-sized things. This researchable stuff. Once you find, once you research it, it should really inspire action. I'm moving across the country by myself with no help, no support, and that's extremely hard, you know? So I have to figure out what actions do I need to take to make that as simple as possible for me. Am I selling all of my stuff in New York? Am I bringing my stuff with me? And if I am, how much does it cost to get somebody to bring my stuff from New York to California? These are all the things you need to be asking yourself when it comes to the goals that you have in mind. Don't be afraid to question how and think critically think very critically and very logically on how you can make that happen at all and I understand where it comes from because like I just want the best for myself and stepping out and following my goals and following my dreams is very scary at times especially when you've been in survival mode we're gonna do a video about that but especially when you've been in survival mode as long as I have deciding to bet on yourself and put yourself out there can be very daunting it'd be very intimidating once you do the research and you ask yourself these questions logically ask yourself these questions now it's time to put together a plan of action and the plan of action just has to be small incremental things that you can do each and every day to get you closer to your goal your goal without a deadline is just it's just a wish you every goal that you set has to have a deadline and we're going to talk about that next so in 2023 what I decided to do differently when it came to pursuing my goal is to break my year up into quarters right now we're in quarter one January January 1st to March 1st is quarter one you got three months 12 week 90 days however you want to look at it to focus on the first half of your goals the goals that you want to accomplish within the first three months should be the only things you're focusing on I think a lot of us get overwhelmed with the big picture too I had a habit of doing that as well oh I want to lose 50 pounds and mind you the 50 pounds is just the result of the work what I should have been saying is I want to work out three times a week I want to make sure that I eat in a calorie deficit five days out the week things of that nature to really help me get close to that 50 pound mark a lot of us get very overwhelmed and we don't really manage our time well when it comes to our goals we think oh wow 12 months it's a year I can get a lot done in a year and the next thing you know you're looking into September and you're like how did I gain more weight why did my follower count go up why hasn't my business become successful you begin to victimize yourself because you kind of disassociate a little bit so you need to make sure you timeline your goal so if you do what I think doing it within the tw first 12 weeks it really gives you something to look forward to and to focus on as opposed to what we were doing beforehand which is kind of like just going with the flow and seeing how things turn out so when I started to give myself a deadline and think about how I want the rest of my year to be and the only way that I can determine a successful year is if I make sure I have a successful quarter so what I do within these first three months affect the next three months like the only way that I can play in the second quarter is if I work in the first quarter I have to work hard as fuck I have to set myself up financially I have to bet on myself so I can actually somewhat enjoy the fruits of my labor in quarter two that's what I want you to think I want you to think about your future self because your future self is not that far away. A lot of us think that our future selves are like 30, um, 30 years from now, 20 years from now, 10 years from now. Your future self is a day away and everything you do impacts her. So when you're thinking about your quarter one goals, you have to think about that hard work that you're doing and who and how it pays off for you in quarter two. Quarter one, if I'm in a gym every single day, drinking water, eating right, working out, minding my business, in quarter two, that is how I want you to think when it comes to your goals so we say hindsight is 2020 but foresight is also 2020 if you think about your future self if you're constantly having that person in the forefront of your mind when it comes to the things that you're doing you can literally set yourself up for success you can because you're thinking 
intentionally you're moving with intention you're making goals with intention you're you you have things that you need to hit and things that you need to do that are going to benefit you later and you're thinking about your later and you're realizing now what i do now affects my later so when it comes to your goals break them down into quarter so you can understand how exactly your year is going to go like last year i definitely felt lost at sea okay it was the first year without my mom and i was on autopilot i want to say for like i was just trying to get through it you know i was really just trying to get through it i didn't really set any goals for 2022 because i was just like so hurt you know like i was i didn't have the capacity to even dream because the worst thing that's ever happened that i could think about happening i was living it you know so i was just trying to get through it oh my god why are we doing this <sighs> I was trying to get through it. So I didn't make any goals. I didn't make any plans in 2022. I was just trying to catch my breath and just try to like, you know, learn how to live without my mom. But I also did some amazing things in 2022, despite the fact that I didn't really have any set goals. I just remember like wanting so much, but not knowing what to do because I just felt so paralyzed, you know? So it's like, I'm so happy and so grateful that in 2023, I feel like I'm back and I'm able to like finally give you guys advice on how to follow your dreams because I actually have the capacity to think about mine like I gave up dreaming last year I was just trying to get through everything I was just trying to get through it you know <sighs> but you know if anybody that's grieving out there sometimes when you go through grief it's hard to be goal oriented when like you just feel like your world has been rocked so last year my world was rocked I didn't have any goals last year like any like goals that I set out loud any plans of action like I didn't break my year up into quarters I definitely felt like the first half of the year I was so dissociated I don't remember from January until like April I don't remember anything that happened within those months and there were some beautiful things that happened but I just don't remember because I was just like going through it you know 2022 was a hard year and my mom i would always tell my mom my goals and she would just affirm them like yeah you gonna do it ty last year i just couldn't do it i was so impacted by the loss of my mom it was hard grief does that to you sometimes um if you guys see me tapping my nose because i don't know if this is snot or if it's tears i i, <laughs> I don't fucking know is it snot oh it's not But, you know, I, I, I should really get a tissue. Um, that got real emotional, okay? <laughs> a lot of us, when we're like in this pursuit of something and something big like losing a parent happens or losing a job or going through a breakup or some form of grief happens, we have a habit of kind of just getting into like function mode. But the function is just performative, okay? But in 2023, it's all about action from the things that I've learned. Goals are things that help you reprogram your brain. Do you see what I'm saying? We talked about last year, be delusional. You guys saw that video on TikTok when she said be delusional. I definitely stitched that video on TikTok talking about how I was being delusional, which is what's definitely helped. But the delusion still has to come with intentional action. The delusion is just believing that it can happen, but the action backed up by the belief is what makes anything possible and you have to remember that you have to remember to remain delusional paired with intention with intentional action definitely garner great results when it comes to your goals don't be afraid to dream big but also understand when it comes to that big dream that big dream is to be broken down into actionable steps that you can follow every single day okay so we've done the research right we've talked about the actionable steps. another thing when it comes to setting goals is the hardest thing that i think all of us struggle with myself included being fucking patient oh god if i could just like fast forward to the end where i had the thing that i wanted i'd be so happy oh please can we just skip to the good part can we skip to the good part but no we can't however patient is the name of the game when it comes to following your dreams and creating your goals like you've done the research you've created a strategy you're following that through all you can do is just wait for shit to come together but people don't understand when it comes to finding joy in the work and being patient is also a learning process sometimes Sometimes the faster the process, the faster the, the, the end of the process. I want you to be okay with taking your time to understand and navigate a space you've never been in. That right there is going to be like your bread and butter. That is how you're going to win. You're going to win because you're going to allow yourself to learn all the learning curves that come with becoming whatever you want to become. As a content creator, I swear, this never a day that I don't learn something off of TikTok or YouTube or Instagram or Snapchat that makes me a better creator. That was a PR package, I think. <laughs> but anyway, like, you have to allow yourself to enjoy the process because with the process comes you falling in love with the work and evolving and becoming better 
but a lot of people they don't take the time to really enjoy the space. They want to be from they want to be someplace else. You have to learn how to appreciate where you are now when it comes to pursuing your goals. I don't have that down pat at all. You have to appreciate where you are because right here, this work is what's going to get me to that outcome. We need to really prioritize patience. If we're not patient with ourselves or the process, we'll miss all the things we need to learn. We'll dismiss all the experiences that we have along the way. We'll make ourselves miserable in the process because we're not where we want to be. And we'll start to compare ourselves to other people in our space wishing that we were them. You don't know what people had to do to get to where they were, to where they are. And you don't want to be that person that's comparing your journey, your chapter one to somebody's chapter 56, okay? At the end of the day, all you can do is remain present in your journey. Give yourself grace and enjoy the process you need to have some people around you that are a little bit crazy too that also see the things that you want for yourself they're always rude to me on and I'm grateful for them and you need to have some people like that around you when it comes to you having very big dreams like dreams that are out of your tax bracket I used to feel very guilty for wanting the things that I want I'm not anymore a lot of us get way too overwhelmed with the responsibility of the things that we want the more I learn the more I'm allowed to dream but the bigger my dreams become because I'm learning all this information and acquiring all this knowledge what I'm doing now is preparing me for my later. And now that I'm like, so I'm understanding like how to set goals, focusing on the action as opposed to the outcome, building habits and falling in love with the process, it has been a ride, a good ride. I'm looking forward to what's next. I have some closing thoughts that I definitely want to leave this video off with, okay? Number one, goal setting can be fun if you look at it from that perspective. Your mindset is everything when it comes to setting a big goal. And if your mindset is not positive, if it's not sitting in positive and expectation and anticipation if it is not one that is a supportive environment where your where your goals can like really resonate and sit you're setting yourself up for failure okay so patience is a virtue that we all need to practice it is not something that we are taught especially when it comes to like the age of instant gratification when it comes to pursuing your goal and the only way you can do that is by really immersing yourself in the process enjoy the process learn as much as you possibly can look around touch some shit have a good time if you do not you will drown okay i'm speaking from experience and that is not what goals are they are not that they are dreams with deadlines all you have to do is make sure you create a framework that you feel connected to that you can make happen a lot of us think that when it comes to pursuing a dream or a goal or having some kind of path that it's gonna be this wild ride. Like it's gonna be like a fucking Netflix documentary of all the things that happen. Sometimes following your dreams is really boring because it's the same shit every day. And you have to be prepared to do the same shit every single day. Just how you water your plants every week and then you look up a month later, you gotta be okay with coming up and, and, and not seeing any results immediately. You work out today, you won't see anything. But you work out for three months, you damn sure gonna see something. You have to be okay with doing the same shit over and over and over and seeing small, small changes. The one thing, the, the final thing that I wanna drive home, the journey to your goals should be fun. This is something that you're reaching toward that although may change your life, it's like a game. You're constructing it. You're the person that's the architect in it. You're the person that gets to design what it looks like. So make sure while you're doing all that, you're having fun. Not every moment will be fun, but I want you to keep in mind that like, make sure you prioritize fun moments within this. One of my goals is to become a full-time YouTuber and I have a lot of fun when it comes to like writing out my videos. When I get really excited about I an idea, like when it came to talking about this video and bringing this video to life, I was super excited about it. And that makes it fun. It makes me want to do it you know so I want you to keep that in mind when it comes to like you know following your dreams and pursuing your path I want you to know that you are more than worthy and that this pursuit for you becoming the best version of yourself and changing your life in a major way it also can be fun don't forget that a lot of us get so caught up in the work of it all that we forget to have fun this is supposed to be fun and you have to figure out what moments are fun so you can follow that thread through so you can remain committed to the process like I said sometimes it can be boring doing the same thing every single day and hoping for different and hoping for something to change but you all we all of us have to put in our 10,000 hours all of us I don't know if I look like a if, I, if I'm overdoing it on the blush but you know who knows uh I like it I like it yeah everybody wears blush now I barely wear highlighter anymore this looks really pretty I have to put on some lashes and I'm 
I'm not doing that on camera. So, so I hope this Make Up Your Mindset video helped you. I hope it helps you understand that goals are just outcomes from small actions that you take every single day. I hope it inspires you to believe, your, believe in yourself and put yourself forward and don't be afraid to make yourself uncomfortable. 2023 can be your year if you set yourself up with intention, you think about your future self every single day and you take everything one day at a time. That is the best thing that you can do when it comes to setting your goals. Take everything one day at a time. Don't beat yourself up. Remain committed to the process. Stay patient and you'll be surprised at what you can do and what you can accomplish. Anything that you conceive within your mind, you can have within your reality. All it does is take consistent action, consistent effort, small shifts every single day and believing that what you want is attainable and possible. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being a part of the fam. If you're not a part of the fam, subscribe. We drop videos every Monday and every Friday. Make up your mindset sessions on Monday. My vlog series on Friday. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.